Oh boy. Hey guys and gals, DJ Zana here. And, well, shit has hit the fan for EA in most of the gaming industry at this point. Because guess what? The government is coming to crack down on you guys once again. This time not over violence, no. But for supposed gambling via these loot crates. and microtransactions. And they're cracking down on this pay-to-win shit. Now, <laughs> what I don't get is, okay, so, you know, the things that are going on with EA and Battlefront 2, and also with the newest Need for Speed, Anthem is going to have this. This whole games as a service nonsense needs to stop. Okay? Because in all points of it, it's just going to end up leading to another crash. Because a lot of us gamers have basically had it with your business practices. Now, where I really want to touch on this is because they claim that you know, this virtual gambling in games uh, is damaging to little kids and whatnot. Which is the reason why, you know, because Europe banned it in Pokemon or whatever, and so then Nintendo basically took out the game corner out of all uh, versions of the Pokemon games. Which I consider, like, a really crap move. For one good reason. And that is, unlike Battlefront 2, unlike, you know, the new Need for Speed, unlike all the EA crap, and even Activision now has jumped on this bandwagon, you know, and Ubisoft is next, like, compared to the Game Corner, where it's only the virtual currency in-game, which, by the way, there are no microtransactions in any of the main series Pokemon games for, you know, the 3DS. So, you know, there was no reason to not have a game corner. And they want to say that virtual gambling period destroys the minds of kids and that they're not mentally or emotionally ready f for this kind of stuff. I'm sorry, but I, I think I was like 10 or something like that when I f was first playing the Pokemon games, I loved the game corner. And mostly because I had the chance of possibly, you know, getting a little bit of extra coins and whatnot and getting some plushies or whatever for the house, you know, which was kind of cool. Um... And to be honest, I never really had the desire to go into a casino because of that. And when I did first go to a casino, I felt like crap. Although that was all thanks to my ex-girlfriend, White Turtle Rainbow. My one of many evil exes. Um, so, you know, she was obsessed with gambling. And I was just tired of it. And, to be honest, I'd rather just spend virtual currency in the game corner than I would real money. And so that's the reason why, you know, those should have been left alone. But I do agree with all the government bodies in the world that this loot box shit needs to go. This microtransaction shit needs to go. Because the gaming industry was doing fine without it before. And they can still thrive without it today. Anyways, peace out. And uh, keep gaming on.